in thanksgiving for the life of Melissa Rhoda McIntyre. We want to thank God for having saved her and having preserved her life through 50 years. May her soul rest in the Lord. We would, of course, be doing the tributes aspect uh, from, from here on, after which we would go right on to the actual service. So let's go into the tributes uh, one, one time. Of course, let's do that after we would have prayed oh okay so let me invite reverend uh emlyn rayburn to come and pray as we do this aspect of the service sister rayburn bless the lord Praise God. Okay. Oh, she's coming. She's she's coming. Sister Rayburn, God bless you. Let's do this opening, brief opening prayer as we do the tributes. We go right into the tributes. So if you have your program, you can flow. Flow with us in terms of the tributes. Thank you, Sister Rayburn. Praise the Lord. Let me say good afternoon to the host pastor of this church, Reverend Samuel Niles, all the other members of the clergy, Power Executive, and of course, our beloved Reverend McIntyre, um, Pastor McIntyre and his family, the Jessimis, to every pastor, their wives, and all those who are gathered here on this very solemn but momentous occasion, we are grateful to God for his grace and strength at this point. And so I'm going to ask you right where you are to close your eyes and bow your heads as we look to the Lord in prayer. Hallelujah. If you are close to a member of your family, just hold their hand, please. Our gracious Father, we thank you. We glorify you. We honor your name today. We welcome your presence. Oh God, we know that you are here with us. And so, as we embrace your divine presence today, we are thanking you for all that you have been doing in our lives. We are thanking you for all that you have been doing in the lives of the McIntyres. Lord, the Narcissus, the Jessimis, oh God, the church families, Paui family. We thank you, oh God, for where you have taken us and where you are, you are leading us. At this point, we are here to celebrate the life of our daughter yes God it's a bittersweet but we thank you because we have the unshakable assurance that she is in your bosom and so rejoice in that fact today we pray God as we go through the aspects of this celebration that your presence is gonna uh, envelop us that we are going to experience divine unction from on high. 
Lord, we pray that your Holy Spirit is going to minister to every individual here today. Because indeed, Lord, I know she would have uh, liked that because her life was a living testimony of faith, unshakable faith, uh, and uh, a, a, a kind of fellowship with you that knows no second. I pray at this time that you are going to strengthen the family. And you are going to strengthen everyone who is going to give a tribute, minister in song, or whatever uh, item on the program that they ought to do. I pray, God, that your presence is going to, Lord, encircle us. Uh, Lord, we need you at this hour. Help us, oh God, in the atmosphere of celebration, that we are going to understand that you are still God, uh, and that without you there is none else. Uh, so today we celebrate with the family, God. Uh, we celebrate, God, with everyone who are here, because we know, God, that you are here, and you are here to do something wonderful. Uh, I pray today that you are going to minister as only you can and at the end God we would say it was good to be here uh, hallelujah oh God uh, we worship you today we worship you today we worship you Lord we worship you because you are God and without you there is none else so daddy we thank you thank you for staying the weather for us Thank you, God, for safety for those who aren't here as yet. And we pray that as we go through this uh, uh, celebration, Lord, you are going to watch over us and you're going to pilot us. These mercies we ask in no other name, but in Jesus' precious name. And everybody say, hallelujah. It's okay to lift your hand and say hallelujah, everybody. Hallelujah. Yes, we worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah, you are God. And without you, there is none else. Praise the Lord. Back to Reverend Nets. I'm sure you know that in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. So you could expect that. To... Yeah? Yeah. In the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy, and at his right hand. Yeah. Now we go into the tribute, so you have your program. It's a 13-point tribute pact, so we ask you to just flow. You have your program. Thanks for flowing in terms of the tributes. God bless you. We welcome the poem, Daughter, Russell McIntyre. Song, uh, staff, staff, and so on. Good afternoon, everyone. My poem is entitled, Letting Go. The angels gathered near your side so very close to you, for they knew the pain and suffering that you were going through. I thought about so many things as I held tightly to your hand. Oh, how I wish that you were strong and happy once again. But your eyes were looking homeward to that place beyond the sky where Jesus held his outstretched arms it was time to say goodbye. I struggled with my selfish thoughts, for I wanted you to stay. So we could walk and talk again, like we did just yesterday. But Jesus knew the answer, and I know you loved him so. So I give to you life's greatest gift, the gift of letting go. Thank you.
check. One, two, three. I can see your eyes, you're so big and bright, I see your pretty smile, but I can't feel your touch, feel the warmth of your skin on mine, yet yeah, you said I'll be fine without you, there's no goodbyes for us, we know where you are, you're in our hearts. Feels like we're miles apart, but you're home now. So to the one who looks at us from heaven, we miss you more, more than you'll ever know. And at times we don't know how we're living. Now that you're gone, we promised we'd be strong, so we will. I still feel your love from above and I won't let it go. Thought I'd watch you grow old. You taught me how to sing through the storms of life. You were my light. There's no goodbyes for us. We know where you are, you're in our hearts. Feels like we're miles apart, but you're home now. And to the one who looks at us from heaven, we miss you more, more than you'll ever know. At times we don't know how we're living. Now that you're gone, we promised we'd be strong. Where your beautiful soul has been, there's a trail of beautiful memories that follow. And what your beautiful eyes have seen, all the joy, all the pain, all the laughter and sorrow. And it's hard to turn the page, we read the same lines for so long. Cause you're not in the next chapter, but our story must go on. The story must go on. There's no goodbye for me. I know where you are, you're in my heart. Feels like you're miles apart, but you're home now. So to the one who looks at me from heaven, I miss you more, more than you'll ever know. And at times I don't know how, but I'm learning to live without you. I know that you had to go home now. Your fight's over, your battle's won. My journey's just begun. I'll miss you forever, but I'll be strong. I miss you forever, but I'll be strong. There's no goodbyes for us. We know where you are, you're in our hearts. It feels like we're miles apart, but you're home now. So to the one who looks at 
us from heaven. We miss you more, more than you ever know. At times we don't know how we're living. Now that you're gone, we promised we'd be strong, so we will. To the one who looks at me from heaven, I miss you more, but I know that you're home. Oh, okay. Amen. We can do better than that. Let's give her, give her, give her. Beautiful, beautiful, lovely. Just to break in a little and ask PH110, PH110 to attend your vehicle immediately. Thank you. The tribute for Telescope Primary, could you check with the song man to the top? Thank you. And let's continue then. Uh, staff, Florida government, and then the telescope primary will come thereafter. Thank you. Staff. Pleasant good afternoon, brothers and sisters. My name is Marvin Andal, the principal of the Florida Government School. I was about to prepare a written tribute from the school to Melissa. But then I remembered the last time I saw her alive it was in July, first week, she was the guest speaker at our graduation. The graduating class was special to her, and she sat down in front of them and had a conversation. And I said to myself, let me try to imitate that, to just speak from the heart. So if I falter, that is nothing. <laughs> Melissa McIntyre came to the Florida Government School from the Telescope School, a finished product. She was an exemplary teacher. She taught with passion. She taught with zeal. She had a pension for the slow learners. She made them believe that they could achieve, that they could be great, that they could be something. I never heard her once lift her voice to a student for disciplinary reasons. She got children to improve their behavior through a behavioral chart she used. So they were able to monitor their own behavior. And gradually, some of the biggest troublemakers in her class were the ones keeping discipline. <laughs> My only regret is that our system does not reward outstanding performance in the way it ought to. And that on such occasions, we have to have long funeral ceremonies. I believe that when people are outstanding, that we should recognize them, that we should acknowledge them, we should give them the flowers while they are still alive. Amen. This nation has truly lost a remarkable person, a truly great teacher. Her memories will live on at the Florida Government School forever. Oh, thank you. We are going to attempt to 
do a tribute in song. And he takes it away. He is the potter and I the clay. When I view the last sunset and the cross of the sea, I know the sun will be waiting for me. Oh, one of the sunrise is going to be.
was sure by now God you would have reached down and wiped our tears away stepped in and saved the day but once again I say amen and it's still raining and as the thunder rolls I barely hear you whisper through the rain am with you and as your mercy falls I raise my hands and praise the God who gives and takes away and I'll praise you in this storm and I will lift my hands cause you are I will praise you in this storm. I remember when I stumbled in the wind. You heard my cry. You, you raised me up again. My strength is almost gone. How can I carry on if I can't find? you and as the thunder rolls I barely hear you whisper through the rain I'm with you and as your mercy falls I raise my hands and praise the God who gives and takes away and I'll praise you in
Thank you kindly. Just before education comes, uh, let's ask PAZ, PAZ 25 to attend your vehicle. Thank you. PAZ 25. Let's welcome now Ministry of Education, District Education Officer. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I speak on behalf of the Ministry of Education and the District 6. District 6, six consists of all the schools in St. John's and St. Mark's. My first direct encounter with Melissa was around the 2012, when she began training to become a special education needs teacher. From the outset, it was apparent that Melissa had a love and a passion for special education. It brought her great joy and great pleasure to teach and support all students and see them improve from one level to the next. Without fail, she attended all training sessions and workshops hosted by the Special Education Needs Unit. And she was quick to share her knowledge and experience with her fellow teachers. She never hesitated to lead devotions or group work. Her quick smile and enthusiasm provided encouragement to all. As her supervisor at Telescope Primary School, my visits to her special education needs classroom always left me with a feeling of accomplishment. It was heartening to observe her patience with the students she worked with. Her classroom was learner friendly, attractive, and welcoming. When necessary, she used her own personal resources to serve her students. I distinctly remember one occasion when she took some students on a field trip to businesses in the town of Grenville to familiarize them with everyday life skills and to identify and use words such as exit and entrance. She usually gave up her lunch time to work with the students. I can still see her smiling face and the way she dedicated herself to her duties. Over time, Melissa and I developed a closer relationship where we were able to converse about other matters apart from work. Shortly after I became the education officer for District 6, Melissa called me to share the news that her family was moving to the parish of St. John, and so she was seeking a transfer. Well, 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 I immediately began scouring my schools to find a space for her. I was not about to let my district miss the opportunity of having such a knowledgeable and a dedicated teacher. Melissa was transferred to Florida Government School, and her principal, Mr. Andal, attested to the fact that she was a great asset to his school. On one of my visits to her class, Melissa informed me of her diagnosis. From that time, we regularly spoke about her situation and the district fully supported efforts to assist her. Despite her health challenges, Melissa was determined to complete her studies. And in 2022, just the last year, she attained a bachelor's degree in psychology with special education from St. George's University, together with some of her fellow SCN teachers. Mrs. St. John John and the SCN unit at the Ministry of Education were excitedly waiting 
to welcome Melissa at the ministry as an education officer for special education. So Mr. Andal, she was recognized and we were just waiting for her to be appointed as a special education needs officer. Sadly, this was not realized. The afternoon before she died, Mrs. St. John John and I were blessed to visit her for a brief moment. She recognized us because that familiar smile spread across her face. I have only fond memories of Melissa. Her quick smile, her genuineness, her passion, and her dedication to educating young minds. Her love and the support for her husband and her children. Her willingness to participate in anything related to education. Her respectful attitude. Her ability to courteously disagree and yet stand her ground. Grenada and the education sector has lost the hardworking, dedicated, committed, beautiful soul. Rest in peace, dear Melissa. The Ministry of Education, Youth, Sports and Culture, the Special Education Unit, the District Education Team, the principals and the teachers of District 6 extend the deepest condolences to her husband, children and other family members. Take consolation in the promises of God and look forward to seeing her at the resurrection. Thank you. Good afternoon to all. In 2006, a group of teachers were called to the Ministry of Education to have a discussion on how to assist and provide support for gifted and struggling students in a class in the various schools and to a lesser extent to the nation. That was where many of us met Melissa for the first time. She was our bubbly and unafraid to make her voice be heard. This cohort is unique and we are now being referred to as special education needs teachers, being advocates for the children we cater to. Mel, as some of us affectionately called her, was at every workshop, oftentimes leading the prayers and discussions. She was present like many of us, even if we were not reimbursed, nor was provided with lunch. That spoke volumes about the commitment and dedication she had for the children. Even during the final semester at SGU, through ailing health, she was determined to complete because her focus was always on how she could help a struggling child. Over the years, our relationships blossomed and we became a support for each other, both personally and professionally. Today, as we say farewell to our sister, the task is mine to pay tribute to her on behalf of us. <laughs> on behalf of our special education needs teachers. <laughs> and I named it a tribute to Mel. <laughs> In memories we hold a task, a tale to unfold of a colleague, a friend, whose light was bold, 
Before, during, and after university, we embarked on our quest. Learning, laughing, dreams held deep within our chest. But fate's hand, but fate's cruel hand, but fate's cruel hand, it dealt a somber blow. Snatching you away, leaving us in sorrow's throes. God, too soon, like a fleeting ocean breeze, leaving behind a void and ache that may never ease. Hand in hand, we embrace knowledge's realm. Through the, the late nights and exams, at the st a, stealth, a steadfast helm. In classrooms, we share the thoughts and ideas, guided by our passion, erasing all fears. Through projects, researches, or study sessions, we strive. Sharing dreams and hopes, we shall all keep alive. Mel, you challenged minds, expanding horizons wide. A beacon of wisdom, a teacher filled with pride. With each passing day, our bond grew strong. Navigating life's challenges, righting most of the wrong. Through laughter and, and tears, we faced the test. Side by side, we weathered life's behest. Your laughter infectious still echoes in our minds. Your wisdom and kindness forever intertwined. In classroom and on Zoom, as we planned our schemes, now we navigate this world, or so it seems. Through, though our tears may fall and sorrows may wane, your memory, like an eternal flame, shall guide us forever forward with purpose and grace, a tribute to you in every embrace. In the classroom of life, we who still remain will contribute to carry your spirit amidst joy and pain. And when we teach, your voice will echo through, reminding us constantly of the Melissa we once knew. So let's raise our voices in a bittersweet refrain, celebrating a life well lived despite the pain. In honor of an advocate forever in our hearts, may your soul find eternal peace as our love imparts. Thank you. Good afternoon. I am representing the Mackey Pentecostal Church. Sister Melissa McIntyre was an active member of the Mackey Pentecostal Church for more than 30 years. In her youth, she sang with the group, the Singing Revivals, ministering in various events and churches. She served as a Sunday school teacher the Sunday school superintendent and church secretary with unwavering commitment and love for God while also being involved in the women's ministry, leading worship songs, preaching the word of God and giving support in all departments of our church. She was known to be hard working, pleasant to get along, dedicated and dependable and loved the Lord dearly. Her contribution impacted everyone who came through the church doors. Her passion towards teaching young people about God was relentless and she was dedicated towards sharing the gospel with the children of Lapatry and other neighboring communities. She was adamant in ensuring that Every year, there is the VBS, also known as Daily Vocational Bible School, to remind children of the love of God and welcome young people into her home to experience what fellowship and enjoying the company of other believers looked like. This was a woman of faith, and she displayed her, her obedience to God despite the challenges she faced. She trusted in God to provide. She believed in his healing. 
she leaned completely onto his strength. And when it was time for her to move on to new territories, she displayed that God is truly the one who starts and finishes our story of faith. What a living story she was. One that we would all remember was filled with faith in Jesus Christ. Thank you. Good afternoon to everyone. Our citizen is in heaven. Our citizenship is in heaven. And from it we await a savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our lowly body to be like his glorious body by the power that enables him even to subject all things to himself. On behalf of the Bethel Pentecostal Church, I will share with you how we were impacted by the life of Sister Melissa McIntyre, our First Lady, gifted to us by God for such a time like this. Sister Melissa was a woman who personified faithfulness, and because of this amazing faith, and genuine love for God, for people and the church on a whole, we at Bethel can say that we have undoubtedly grown as individuals. And it was an honor to have had her in our presence. Faith without borders. With her answer throughout her illness, I'm still smiling. Though you slay me, yet still I praise you. I can still hear her voice. Her bravery was admirable, especially when she stood to testify. She made whatever difficulties that she was going through or went through seem like it was simply just another thing to overcome. She was a great motivator, always with a word of encouragement to help build us as a congregation and as individuals, she empowered and spiritually enhanced our lives. Some may say she encouraged them to always be on the positive side of things and to always ignore the negativity. On the social side of things, oh, the laughter, the jokes, the fun, the ease in which we enjoyed each other's company. We believe that the career path she had chosen was decidedly suited for her because she was a great speaker and whenever she spoke, she ensured that we all understood. With her unbridled kindness, she would always remind us to consider those who are obtuse in understanding, to speak so that they can understand and be patient with them. Even the way she got along with her large family, the love, unity, and togetherness was so admirable. I would especially remember her smile and the joy her presence filled the room with. She made even the smallest child feel loved and accepted. And I am beyond thankful for the fact that she taught me how to live a life that truly reflects God. She was a true example of a woman who fears the Lord. She portrayed the qualities of a great wife and she never failed to testify of how much she grew each day to become a better partner to her spouse. Her skills as a mother is also worthy of commendation. The way she grew her children was nothing far from the teachings of the Almighty God. We are most grateful to pattern our lives after such honorable example. 
She was more than just a member of our congregation. She was a sister, a friend, a mother, a counselor. She was our family, and we will solidly miss her. Your life was openly a blessing, and your memory will be our treasure. New day, new season, new life, never the same again. In Jesus' name, our First Lady, Sister Melissa McIntyre. Pleasant good afternoon to everyone. This tribute is on the behalf of the executive and all the other women of the women's department, Powi Grenada District. It was Jack Thorne who said, those we love never truly live us. There are things that death cannot touch. Sister McIntyre was affectionately known among the women as Sister Millie. Having been born and bred in Powi, it was very easy for her to gravitate into the women's ministry department and to play a leading role. In the latter part of 2018, she was called to serve as an executive member on the Women's Ministry Department, Powi Grenada District, and to head the Northwestern Zone as the new zone leader. She did not hesitate, but gladly accepted the call and served with dignity and distinction. She kept in contact with her presidents and led her executive to fulfill the mandate of the local executive. As members of the Northwestern Zone, we will remember her sterling leadership during the COVID period, holding us together via the WhatsApp chat. Under her leadership, we participated in all activities nationally and internationally. This is what our former coordinator, Sister Emeline Rayburn, said of her. She was an exemplary leader, for no job was too big or too small for her to perform. Whether it was moderating at a national event, leading devotion, or organizing a group activity, she led by example and created opportunities for the ladies to grow with her. Her present coordinator, Sister Linda Rin Philip, thinks of her as a darling. She always kept a positive perspective during her time of sickness. She said, and I quote, it was all about giving God glory with her life. Unquote. In late 2021, Sister McIntyre stepped down from the leadership of Zone Leader to assist her husband in other ministries as she felt the call and leading of God, 
However, she maintained constant contact with the zone and still participated in its activities as well as the activities of the local department. Honestly, as a women's department, we will run out of words trying to tell you who Sister McIntyre truly was to us in the women's ministry department. So this is what we will say to you. We have found her to be M, a magnificent woman of God. E, an easygoing lady. L, a lovable sister. I, an inspiring servant of God. S, a sacrificial woman. S, a sisterly servant. A, an admirable lady. M, a middle-minded lioness. C, a charming beauty of a lady. I, an innovative worker in God's vineyard. A, a nurturing soul. Sorry, N, a nurturing soul. T, a good team player. Y, a youthful soul at heart. R, a radiant little lady who was E, very enthusiastic about the things of God. On behalf of the women's department, our coordinator who is out of state, all the women who are here and who are not here, we extend to you, the McIntyre family, our deepest sympathy. We know that you would miss her, but we would miss her dearly too. May her soul rest in peace. I just want to speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind. Cause I know there is peace within your presence I speak Jesus I just want to speak the name of Jesus Every dark addiction starts to break Declaring there is hope and there is freedom. I speak Jesus.
Jesus in the streets, Jesus in the darkness over every enemy, Jesus for my family, I speak the holy name, Jesus. Shout Jesus, shout Jesus on the mountain, Jesus in the streets, Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus for my family, I speak your holy name, Jesus. Just one more attention, PAP355, PAP355, please attend your vehicle, thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. As we continue this book, The Life of Melissa, Chapter 12, a tribute from the Christian Education Department of Pawi. Sister Melissa McIntyre was a stalwart of the faith. Her commitment to God defined the course of her life, as we've heard throughout the tributes here this afternoon. There was no distinction between her spiritual, her church ministry, and her secular pursuit as a teacher. Her faith in God characterized her course of life. Her actions indicated that wherever God has placed you to serve, whether it be professionally or spiritually, you do so diligently. So deep was her commitment to God. She served in the department for many years, and the requirements of the Christian Education Ministry unleashed her selflessness, her creativity, empathy, passion, love, commitment, vulnerability, and strong faith. From a Sunday school student to Sunday school teacher, to Sunday school superintendent. She was a pioneer in ministry to the vulnerable in her communities. Challenges, extenuating situations, and debilitating needs were simply opportunities she used for demonstrating the power and the provision of God in her life. There was a peaceful joy in everything she did. Her support of the objectives of the Sunday School Department was evidenced by her presence at every function we had, promoting and developing the ministry's potential in others in service to God. Her keenness to respond to communications and openness to express opinions were always welcome, and we heard that earlier on. When Melissa could not attend a Sunday school meet, superintendent's meeting, she always sent a replacement 
often in her daughter, Renelle. Marky Pentecostal, Grand Roy, Guave, Cloje, surrounding e e communities, and the entire Pawi Grenada District Christian Education Department were truly enriched by her life. God invested in us for the building of his church, and she exemplified that. And so, to the McIntyre family, to the Jessamy family, and all the other relatives and friends, we appreciate the unwavering support that you gave her in her service to God. To her daughters, Rochelle, Roselle, and Renelle, her husband, Pastor Rodney McIntyre, we thank you for giving and supporting her in this ministry. She could not have done it without you. We thank God for her legacy, the legacy, sorry, her life and attitude in serving have imprinted on all of us. And may every life that she has influenced serve selflessly also. And so on behalf of the executive of the Christian Education Department, all the Sunday school superintendents, teachers, we say heartfelt sympathy. Good afternoon to everybody. Uh, let me acknowledge, mm, and I'm doing so as All right. before I um, do the tribute, I wish to, on behalf of our presiding bishop, who is not on the island, as well as some of our principal officers who are out of state to extend our condolences to the McIntyre, Jessimney, uh, Narcissus, and all the other members of the families who are affected by the passing on of our dearly beloved. We do not at this time necessarily mourn, although we do miss her. But we know from the scriptures, the Bible says to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord for the child of God. We do celebrate the life of a truly amazing woman, a wife, a mother, a counselor, a teacher, a friend, and from what was so eloquently spoken about her by those who went before, she will have meant so much to so many others. In bidding farewell to Sister McIntyre, we cannot help but underscore her passion for the things of God. Even through her sickness, she was a source of strength and encouragement to all. I remember three of us going in there to pray for her. And there was so much faith in the environment, I could not help but expressing it. But we cannot question God. He is Lord and he knows best. She has left us a legacy to encourage persons in the will of God in the middle of her storms. She was a motivator and indeed to someone of great inspiration. Indeed, she was someone of great inspiration. She was a blessing especially to the Pawi Prayer Movement, 
which started in 2017, where she functioned with distinction. She was a parish prayer leader on the Western Corridor up to the time of her death. She was very enthusiastic about the Lord's business and desirous to see prayer executed on behalf of our pastors, ministers, workers, and also for our annual convocation and for whatever special activities were be planned by the district, she championed our cause in prayer. At one of the parish prayer meetings on June 10th, 2023, she ministered the word of God in such a profound way that it will be remembered by those who were present. When the Lord impressed on the heart of Pastor McIntyre to relocate from Mackey in 2017, it was Melissa who noted that the Grand Roy, Grand Roy on the West Coast was to be the destination. As she walked along with her husband, she was able to say, hey, we're moving from Mackey to Grand Roy. And time has passed and proven her to be right because currently the responsibility for pastoring both Grand Roy and Guav rest on the shoulders of Pastor Rodney McIntyre. Amen. I don't know if it's proper to see this, but anyway, the Lord be praised. <laughs> the McIntyres were installed at Elim Pentecostal Church, Grand Roy, and Bethel on July the 22nd to give leadership. As a pastor's wife, she embraced her role with unwavering devotion, diligence, and love. She gave her full support in the ministry with Pastor McIntyre. She was also a member of the pastor's wife's prayer group. Let us remember her legacy. We should remain forever etched in the lives of those she will have touched. And may I say that she's a good example that many should seek to emulate. We honor you with this tribute, Sister McIntyre, a heartfelt expression of our love and appreciation for your selfless contribution. Until we meet again in the presence of the Lord. To Pastor McIntyre, the children, the Jesse Mees, and the extended families, from our presiding bishop, the exec district executive, the pastoral fraternity, and the Pari fraternity as a whole, whole. We want you to know that we will continue to uphold you with our prayers. And may the peace of God comfort our hearts. And may the peace of God continue to be with you. Be strong, earth's loss is heaven gain, and we shall see her again by the grace of God. God bless you. Thank you so much. I have... Good evening, everyone. My deepest sympathy to the family, to my brother, Rodney. I love you, bro. I'm here to represent Interschool Christian Fellowship, to pay tribute to our sister, Melissa, for her passionate contribution to the work here in Grenada. We will miss her. 
We thank God for her life, for her support to her husband, Rodney, our general secretary, my true brother, friend, ministry partner. We thank God for her commitment to the ministry where she gave of her time and resources, her youthful energy, her wise words, her warm smile. She worked hard with the events team to plan and execute events geared towards deliberate discipleship of students. As a teacher, she encouraged and facilitated many students' growth in their knowledge of Christ and helped them to build the courage to make Christ known. Even during the COVID times, Sister Melissa and her family opened their home to students. She created an atmosphere for fellowship around the word of God. She was truly a blessing to ISCF. I admired her grace through her suffering. She suffered effectively. Her pain and the battles she faced did not bring out the worst in her, but the best in her. Her pain made a positive difference in her, her life and impacted me greatly. And all who interacted with her during that time could testify of this. As a movement, the ISCF family mourns the loss of our sister. But we don't mourn as those without hope. We know that we will see her again. But we do mourn as Sister Melissa mourned for the lost youths of our nation and resolved as she resolved to help them to know Christ and to make him known to their generation and beyond. God bless you. We just have two extras, Faye Philip and Loxley John. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it's a really bittersweet moment for me. And um, initially, I told my wife I wanted to say something, and then while we were down, coming down in the car, she asked me, you really want to say something? And I said no, because I didn't believe I would be able to stand here and, and speak. And so forgive me for not taking, on, taking off this, those dark glasses, because I don't want you to see my eyes, really. Uh, but I got to know Melissa about uh, some 20 something years ago, and um, Millie has become a real sister of mine. And um, we were able to talk about many things. And in all those years, I have never seen Melissa got vexed. I mean, she was just a wonderful soul. And I remember I, I, I came from up the road one night, just a couple of weeks ago, and my wife told me, that Millie was given some, just a short time to leave. And that night I couldn't sleep really. And Pastor Penny said, we, shouldn't, we can't question God. <laughs> but I asked God a lot of questions. And I asked him, I said, God, that was the first question I asked. I said, God, all these lying politicians, they live in long, long and how oh, you ain't taking them and you take Millie? Well, uh, I, I have not had an answer for that yet. But. And then I ask him, I say, God, all this 
people committing crime and so in the how are you not, you're not taking them they're just leaving and leaving and leaving and you're taking people like mealy well god hasn't answered me yet pastor but i visited her a couple of weeks later and i told her what was on my mind and i said mealy I don't understand how good people like you could be suffering with cancer. And her answer was, she usually called me Uncle Lox. Uncle Lox, who is good? Who determines who is good? And she was just bubbly. She was having pain and so, but she was encouraging me and she was just laughing and having fun with us. She was talking about how she wanted to preach in her own funeral and so. But the most important thing was, Millie was a woman of faith. She loved God. And, you know, she, she, she died with that faith. And the Monday before she died, I visited her in the hospital. And the last thing she said to me was, keep the faith. Keep the faith. But, you know, in Isaiah, we are told that God takes the good people so they wouldn't have to go through what we are go this evil system. Okay. I am happy that she died knowing Christ. I'm happy that she has impacted lives. And if there is one life that she has impacted, it's mine. And I know she'll rest in peace and I'll see her again someday. To my dear Millie, in the depths of sorrow, I embrace I stand with heavy heart and trembling hands. For you, for you, a cherished soul have taken flight, leaving behind a void endless night. You are a beacon to me, both mother and a sister, a guiding light when life grew bitter, with tender love. You held me near, wiping away each sorrow laid in tear. Your presence is shelter in time of strife, a guide of laughter, the essence of life. Your wisdom of words so kind, forever in the corners of my mind. Though life wins in part, We often room, sharing secret dreams and calling it home. In your warm embrace, we found silence too, a sanctuary where love forever grew. But now the winds of change have blown, and your dear soul have journeyed on. The world feels empty, devoid of your grace. Yet memories of your love will forever embrace. Though tears may fall and hearts may break, we will celebrate the bond we will ne we'll never forsake. For you, our guiding star, now shine above, watching over us with eternal love. In the depths of our soul, your spirit will dwell. A cherished presence will forever tell. For the love you bestowed, we always hold tight until we meet again in the room night. I remember the Friday before she passed on, I called. And she said, when she heard my voice, she was like, Rochelle, I need to talk. I said, rest, because you can't, you could speak. She said, no, I need to talk. She said, Faye, we will fight this together. I said, I'm behind you. And on Wednesday morning, when Rochelle texts me, I said, she always tell me, Pray, not my will, but God's will be done. And I knew it was the will of God. This brings an end to the tribute. We now begin the official order of service.
Pastor Rodney McIntyre and family, Reverend Jessamy and family, all other family and relatives, Reverend Penny, Reverend uh, Whiteman, members of the district executive, Bishop Samuel Niles and Mrs. Niles, host pastor, Bishop Dave and Catherine King, members of the pastoral fraternity, executive members of the Alliance of Evangelical Churches, other ministers of the gospel. Mr. Delma Thomas, member of parliament for St. Andrews Northwest. Mr. Tillman Thomas, former prime minister. Uh, Mr. Francine Foster, chief magistrate acting, uh, representative of the ISCF. Other relatives and friends viewing abroad via TR Communications. Brothers and sisters in Christ, good afternoon. When peace, like a river, attended our way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever our Lord God has taught us to say, it is well. It is well with our soul. And surely all of us who knew Melissa can say truly, it is well with our soul. And so we are gathered this afternoon in this solemn moment to give thanks for her life and to pray for our family and all that more. As we celebrate our life here today, may we be ever mindful of the brevity of life. Job tells us, for we are but of yesterday and know nothing because our days upon the earth are as a shadow. James tells us what is life. For it is but a vapor that appeared for a little while, vanisheth away forever. Let us therefore strive to live for God, loving one another, and make sure it is well with our soul. May I invite you to stand as we sing that hymn, Leaning on the everlasting arm.
be seated. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. What have I to dread? What have I to fear? Leaning on the everlasting arms, I have blessed peace with my Lord so near. Leaning on the everlasting arm. We thank God that we can lean on him. In this our hour of grief, we wish to recognize the presence of Mr. Lennox Andrews uh, here with us this afternoon. And so now we pause for this reading of the scripture from the 90th Psalm, verse 14 to 17, and we call Keziah John to do the scripture reading. 2608, please attend to your vehicle. 2608. Afternoon, everybody. Oh, satisfy us early with thy mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad according to, thy, to the days wherein thou hast afflicted us, and the years wherein we have seen evil. Let thy work appear unto thy servants, and thy glory unto their children. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us, and establish thou the work of our hands upon us. Yea, the work of our hands establish thou it. This is the end. Thank you, Ms. John. And now I invite you again to rise as we invite the worship team to come. stripes we are healed by your nail pierced and we will free by your blood we
testimony it's a testimony of Melissa's life it's a testimony of Melissa's life and before we sing that just allow me to give one little story she's the girl right before me so we fought often if you ask me now what we fought about I can't really tell you but we fought all the time and it didn't matter who won or who lost eh? but we fought but she was a very determined girl. And uh, even though her skin would swell after we fight, she would find some way to get back at me. So maybe she took really good care of her things and I did not. So if I go to borrow something, I won't get through for a little while because we fought and her skin got swollen and all that. But one day, big brother took us to the to the bush to get some vine for the rabbits. There was some nice vine up on a cocoa tree. And he didn't want to go up the tree, so he encouraged her and convinced her to go up the cocoa tree. And she did with his help. When it was time to come back down, she didn't know how to come back down. So he called her all kind of names, of course. 
and then eventually again convinced her to skip down the cocoa tree. She was wearing a dress. So the rest is history. She tended to that wound. She was only about eight or seven years old at that time. She refused to allow mommy to bathe her for weeks until that wound got better so that Robbie would not get into trouble. That girl, from a young age, I saw that kind of determination in my sister right up to the last day. And this song that we're going to do now is a real testimony of her life. For all her life, God remained faithful. For all her life, God has been good. And I know if she was here, she will sing this to the top of her voice. So somebody join me today to sing this to the top of our voices. The goodness of God. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because all my life, you have been faithful. All my life, God has been so good. With every breath that we are able this afternoon, we can only sing of the goodness of Almighty God. Oh, hallelujah, you may be seated this afternoon. Praise God, praise God. I will sing of the goodness of God. The goodness of God leadeth men to repentance. And it's because of his goodness we all are here. And how we thank him. PAP 355. Uh, please attend to your vehicle, please. PAP 355. Please attend to your vehicle. And now we have the scripture, second scripture reading from the book of Isaiah, the 55th chapter, from verse 6 to 13. And Brianna Coffey, her aunt, will now come and do that for us. Thank you. Pleasant good afternoon to everyone. I don't know if I should say stand to honor the word. Okay. <laughs> Or maybe y'all are tired standing, yeah, and it's hot, so you may sit. All right. <clears throat> Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord that he may have compassion on him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return there, but water the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and the bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. For you shall go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and the hills be before you shall break forth into singing and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up briars. Sorry. Instead of the thorn shall come up the cypress. Instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle, and it shall make a name for the Lord, an everlasting sign, and shall not be cut off. Praise the Lord. And may the Lord add his blessing to the reading of his word, for his name's sake. Amen. And now we invite Rochelle McIntyre to come and eulogize her mom. We ask Trinity uh, Gospel Band to please get ready. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am Rochelle McIntyre. I'm the first daughter of Rodney and Melissa McIntyre. 
Um, before I begin, I just want to say, I don't know how many times over the course of the last couple of days and weeks I've heard, you're so strong. I know my mom, and it takes a strong woman to raise a strong woman. So I am truly honored to have the privilege of delivering my mother's eulogy here today. And for those of you who knew my mom well, you would know that she wrote a lot. She documented everything. So I would like to begin by sharing an excerpt from her diary that was written on the 15th of August, 2020. And this was based on Psalms 39, um, verses 4, 5, and 7. Lord, remind me how brief my time on earth will be. Remind me that my days are numbered and that life is fleeting away. My life is no longer than the width of my hand. An entire lifetime is just a moment to you. Existence, human existence, is but a breath. We are merely moving shadows and all our busy rushing ends in nothing. We heap up wealth for someone else to spend. And so, Lord, where do I put my hope? My only hope is in you. And I can say with all confidence that until her last breath, Melissa, Rhoda, Jessamy, McIntyre, she put her hope in the Lord. Today we are gathered to remember and celebrate the life of this beloved daughter, sister, friend, wife, mother, a truly virtuous woman to all who knew her. And on behalf of the family of my dearest mother, I extend our sincere appreciation to you all for being here with us at this moment and for your unwavering love, support, and just a comfort within the last couple of months. Your kind words and prayers have indeed been a source of strength to us. In some way or the other, all our lives have been touched by her beautiful soul. And the thing is, some of you may not know about, much about her early life. Melissa Rhoda Jessamy was born in the Villa Road, Subi St. Andrew, to Matthew and Noreen Jessamy on March 28, 1973. She was the second daughter of the pastor and his wife, making her the third of nine children, five boys and four girls. Because of the Lord's call to ministry on the family, they have called many places home over the years, making Melissa's childhood a very exciting one, to say the least. Still living in Subis, she began her primary school education at the St. Andrew's Methodist School. However, in 1980, the family moved to Grand Roy, St. John's, where she attended the Grand Roy Government School. My mother often recounted fond memories of her time on the western side. Although she did mention that one of the things she remembered most was the harassment that she and her sisters received from some of the schoolboys for being among the few who were fair-skinned and wore socks to school. Three years later, the family returned to the eastern side of the island where they took up residence in Marquis St. Andrew. And my mother was once again enrolled in the St. Andrew's Methodist School where she completed her primary school education. Age 12 was a very significant one in my mother's life, not only because it was when she started secondary school or even when she began receiving unwanted attention from boys, but it was because at this tender age that she committed her life to her Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I just want to point out here that someone mentioned that she was very adamant that we have um, DVBS, and that was because she gave her life to Christ in a DVBS, and she never forgot that. Um, with a final move to their original home in Subis, my mom attended the Grenville Secondary School where she made many friends who remained friends for life. And she completed her secondary school education at the age of 16. Shortly after graduating, she was afforded the opportunity to fulfill her dream of being a teacher and she began her exemplary teaching career at the St. Andrews Methodist School where she taught for two and a half years at the grade three level. It was also around this time that her very own 
specially designed love story budded. My mother always said that the one thing she did faithfully was pray about the person she would one day marry. And she did so at a very, very young age, I must say. She had her list of requirements. One, that she be married at a young age. Two, that her first boyfriend should be her husband. Three, that he would love the Lord more than he loved her. Well, God met all of her requirements in the form of Rodney McIntyre, and he blessed them abundantly with 30 years of marriage. They were married on April 10th, 1993. She was 20 at the time, and four years later, they welcomed their firstborn, Rochelle, and their two other daughters, Roselle and Raynell, followed in 2002 and 2004, respectively. Three girls. She always thought that God had a sense of humor that way, because she had asked him for three boys. <laughs> Our family was now settled in Hope St. Andrew, and by this time, Melissa McIntyre was a permanent teacher at the Telescope Primary School, where she remained for 24 years. During this time, she served in the capacities of grade four teacher and later as the special needs education teacher and vice principal. In her tenure at the Telescope Primary School, she was given the opportunity to further her education and became a qualified teacher in the year 1997. She also underwent over two years of ex internal and external training with the Ministry of Education, Grenada, in collaboration with Roehampton University in England. Throughout her lifetime, as we would have already heard, my mom served the church in almost every way possible. At the Marquis Pentecostal Church, she served for many years on the church board as the church secretary and the Christian Education Department superintendent. She served on the worship team and also actively contributed to the youth ministries and women's ministries departments, serving in various capacities over the years. Trying to resume because we know it's a lot. Having always been open to the Lord's direction in their lives, in 2017, Melissa and Rodney McIntyre moved our family to St. John's, where they served the congregations of both Grand Roy and Guave. From the year 2022, they did this officially in a pastoral capacity. Shortly after their move, mom joined the staff of Florida Government School, where she served for approximately four years. In 2020, she was granted another opportunity to further her studies in special education and psychology at the St. George's University. In December of 2021, mom felt a lump in her breast. Then came the diagnosis, then came the treatment, chemotherapy and radiation, the ultimate test of her faith. Sometime after being diagnosed, she journaled, I give thanks to my heavenly father for his goodness and faithfulness to me. Today I am grateful that God has chosen me to be his ambassador in the earth. I feel proud to be selected and trusted to go through this cancer journey. She fought a fight that unfortunately so many of our friends and loved ones have had to. But I have never seen anyone do it with such positivity, cheerfulness, grace, patience, humility, and just plain old faith like she did. She aspired to be like Job, and indeed, not once did she curse God. Against all odds, Melissa McIntyre earned a bachelor's degree with honors in the year 2022. However, due to the toll that her illness took on her body, she retired much earlier than she would have liked to. 34 years of teaching. She did that. My mother had a big appetite for life and great plans for ministry. She said, the Lord will use me greatly in these last days to pull his children out of darkness. He has allowed me to record lots of the miracles he has done in our lives so that I can remember and share them accordingly. As the scripture says though, many are the plans in a man's heart. For on the morning of July 26th, 
2023, Melissa Rhoda, Jessamy McIntyre, ran into the arms of her ever-loving Heavenly Father, as he called her home. Never to be in pain again or shed one more sad tear. Her mission on earth complete. As a daughter, she gleaned wisdom from, honored, and obeyed her parents in every way. As a sister, in many ways she was the other mother, always having her siblings' best interest at heart. Although her mothering wasn't always brought across in the best way, everything she did was in love. As a wife, she was exemplary. She asked the Lord to show her how to love and support her husband in the right way. She felt proud to be his wife, yet undeserving of his unconditional love. Every day she sought to be better than the day before as his helpmeet and co-pilot. As a mother, she practiced what she preached. She was attentive, nurturing, transparent, always ready to admit her shortcomings and meet each of us at the point of our individual needs. From our ABCs to deep conversations about the mysteries of life, she carried us and then taught us how to walk on our own, both literally and figuratively. As a teacher, she held every little hand around the pencil with such love and devotion that I have not met a single one of her students who was happy to leave her class. She gave above and beyond because it was more than just her job. It was her calling. As a warrior, she fought valiantly an aggressive cancer and won. Even though it destroyed her body, it never broke her spirit. And that day, dressed in funeral clothes, she claimed her victory. If you know, you know. I am still amazed that with all my mother has accomplished, everything she was to me and to everyone else here, that I can even capture these small fragments by putting pen to paper. Honestly, the last couple weeks have been filled with conflicting emotions for me. Because on one hand, I am elated and rejoice at the fact that my mother, a most faithful handmaiden of the Lord, now happily occupies that seat in heaven that has been waiting for her throughout all the hardship and pain that she has had to endure in her earthly life. On the other hand, my heart is broken and I feel such deep sorrow knowing that my safe place, my rock, my source of wisdom and encouragement, my best friend has left this earth no longer here to hold my hand through life with the unconditional love that only can come from a mother. All I can do is turn to my heavenly father to fill that void that she has left that seems to expand with each passing day. I imagine that my dad and sisters feel the same because in our home, mommy had all the answers. And even when she didn't, she'd help us find them. As I conclude, I pray for us the peace of our Lord that surpasses our understanding. And I leave, leave us with one last bit of wisdom from the words of my beautiful mother. The mark of true peace is being able to fully rest, relax, and even sleep in the midst of a mighty storm. The size, type, or nature of the storm does not matter. What matters is our posture in the storm, our thoughts in the storm, our mindset, our focus, our belief, our faith. If we truly trust in our Heavenly Father's word, his nature, his care, we will rest and not be afraid. May God bless and comfort us all. Thank you.
a strong woman give birth to a strong woman. May God grant grace to the family and peace as they daily go about their lives, remembering the cherished memories of their mother. And now we invite Trinity Gospel Band to come and do a special. And we'll ask the family during that special to please do the last viewing uh, because the ministry of the word will then follow after. Trinity Gospel Band. afternoon again. This is a special song for the family. It is one that encouraged Sister Melissa as she went through her challenges in life and we hope that it would bless you as well. You call me out upon the waters, the great unknown, where feet may fail. abounds in deepest waters your sovereign hand will be my guide where feet may fail and fear surrounds me you never failed and you won't start now and I
And now the word of the Lord has been delivered by Robert Jessamy, her brother. Glory! I wish I had somebody who knew how to praise in the midst of trouble, man. I wish I had some people in here. Hallelujah. Give me a good mic. Give me a good mic. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. I wish I had some people in here who knew what it means to worship God. The word of God says that we worship God in the beauty of holiness. In the presence of the Lord, there is joy. Hallelujah. Fullness of joy. I don't know about you today. I didn't come here to sing a sad song. I didn't come here to sing a sad song. Uncle Mark, I didn't come here to sing those blues, man. I came to give me God some worship. And if I get one person, if I have one person to help me worship my God, I'm can we just worship God together, church? All across the Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just stand in the presence of God. Can we just stand and worship God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> I wish I had somebody. Hallelujah. 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 God, I worship you. I worship you. God, I worship you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. God, I worship you. I worship you for who you are this morning. God, we didn't come here because we, 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 we're moaning or we said, but God, we're here because you are God and we are not. Hallelujah. And God, we worship you because your word declares to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let there be glory in the house of God. The Bible declares that. Hallelujah. We are worshiping at your feet, Lord. Hallelujah. We worship you. Hallelujah. We worship your majesty. We worship your majesty.
The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Father, we just worship you today. We stand in this room and we declare that there is no God like Jehovah. Whatever you do, you do it well, oh God. We don't question you because you are God. And so, Father, we just worship you in the beauty of holiness. May us live a life of worship. Melissa lived a life of worship. Hallelujah. Wow. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Death could not hold you down. Hallelujah. You seated, seated in majesty. You are, you are the reason. King, hallelujah. There we go. That sounds better now. Can we sing together? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we just lift our hands in the presence of God? Jesus has won the victory. Jesus has won the victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have. Hallelujah. Could not hold you down. You are the Seated in majesty, you are the reason, King. Hallelujah. Can we do hallelujah one more time? Hallelujah. Jesus, you have won the victory. know about you today man I need, I need a good mic I, I need a good mic I, the devil is not gonna win no victory here today hallelujah
I was in my kitchen in Toronto, Canada a couple of days ago. And I was in front of the sink doing some dishes. I said, God, what do I say to your people? And I want to speak to all the ministers in the house, all the, the, the ministers of the gospel. I said to Satan, I said, devil, you just mess with the wrong family. I said, devil, you put your hand on the wrong one. The Bible says, Pastor Niles, that from since the days of John, the kingdom of God suffered violence. But the violent in the spirit take it by force. And what the Lord ministered into my spirit was this. My dad and my mom, we, we as kids, we were in granary pastoring. And it seems as the western side always have difficulty. And then I thought about it. We have lost some very important men of God on the western side. Just at the point when the church is beginning to bloom. Taken away. My sister told me, Rabbi, I'm going to retire from teaching. And I'm going to go into full-time ministry to support my husband 100%. She said that to me on the telephone. And I said, sis... If the Lord leads you, go for it. All right. All right. I know as Christians, we, we believe that all things work together for God. We believe that precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. This book is 100% true. 100% of the time. And if you don't believe it, stop reading it. If you're not prepared to live by the book, stop reading it. Because it is true 100%, 100% of the time. And Pastor King, I was there. I said, God, what are you saying? But a McIntyre told me, he said, boy, we have plans to expand Grand Roy and Guav. There was vision, Pastor Niles. There was ministry. And the enemy said, no. I got to put a roadblock there. Men of God, of power, I'm talking to you today. I'm not wanting to be rude to anybody. The Lord has spoken. Are we listening to what God is saying to the churches? We have become comfortable where we are. And the enemy has been encroaching on our property. And we are sitting back and we're doing nothing about it. I wonder, prayer and fast won't cut it. Hello, somebody. I wonder, prayer and fast would not cut it. The Bible says to us that the kingdom of God suffered violence. I wish I had some violent men of God in this house. Who was violent in the spirit and who said, Devil, enough is enough. I wish I had some partners who believe that today. I wish I had some pastors who knew what it was to go before God and say, God, enough. He 
is enough. We sit back in Zion and we are doing nothing. I don't want to be rude and disrespectful, but I'm going to tell you just what the Lord laid on my heart as I was waiting for him. God is calling power to rise up. You've fallen asleep. You have a name. You have a name. You have a name. Where is the power? Where is the anointing? Where is the authority that goes with the name? We can't just have pastor's meeting and have five minutes of prayer. No, 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 no. God is calling our leaders. When you're tired in the race and you don't want to go no more, just give up. When you're tired, don't block the people who want to run. Move on the side. I told the devil you mess with the wrong family. And I said to God, it's my, I'm going to fight her. That's my sister. She was the one after me. We fought a lot, Millie and I. We go under the mango tree and a mango fall and I want it and she want it and nobody going to get it. We're going to fight for the mango. And can I say this today? My sister fought this cancer with every ounce of energy she had. She fought it for as long as she could have because she was that determined kind of person. When she spoke to me, I said, Millie girl, anything you want, just tell me. Look, my wife, if I confess, she can't kill me with her in church. But I'll tell you now. I said, there are times, you know, I would send some stuff for Millie and not tell my wife. Because uh, not that she would crucify me or anything. But uh, there's a bond that brothers and sisters have that wives don't understand. Is amen or ouch? If you're here and you have that problem, check yourself. So, Millie and I were tight. We were tight. I remember one morning I was praying. I was like, God, I was just in the living room waiting on God. And he said, go send some change for your sister right now. I said, but God, I'm praying. He said, get up and go. I text her. I said, go Western Union. I'm sending X and X. She texts me, how did you know? I said, what? I'm driving over Bellevue there. The light and the gas is on since yesterday. And I'm asking her, how am I going back to St. John's with the gas light on since yesterday? That's the sister I had. She has so. Being here. 
Mr. Tillman Thomas, God bless you. Mrs. Uh, Delma, I heard a lot about you fixing the road in the villa. Thank you very much. There was a lot of big holes up there. You took care of that. God bless you. All our ministers here, Sister Josephine, way back in time. She used to raise me across the, in Kariko, Sister Romaine back there. Little Robbie going across in the meadow and she carried me because I was so scared to walk through the cow pen. Hallelujah. All the pastors here, God bless you. Ministers of religion, ministers of government, everybody, friends, family, loved ones, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You have an appointment. Are you ready for your appointment? Hebrews chapter 9, verses 27, 28 says, And as it is appointed unto man, once to die, and after death, comes the judgment. My question to everyone in this room today, are you ready for your appointment? We all have appointments in life. Dental appointment. My sister always tell me about her appointments and like they were random and, and regular. So we all have appointments in life. Some appointments we don't want to keep because we don't like them. Whenever I have a dental appointment, I start to sweat even before I get to the chair. So we have appointments in life. The question is, we, we prepare for those appointments. You have a date. You have a time. You have a location. And we have smartphones that remind us when the appointment date is. So you don't forget. So in life, we take time to prepare for our appointments that we have. I was by the graveside yesterday. We were digging up the dirt and doing everything. And I said to myself, the most important appointment in life many times we don't take time to think about it we don't take time to prepare for that appointment it's an appointment that has a date it has a time but you and I we don't know the date. We don't know the time. How are we to live in light of that reality? Many of us, we spend money on our cars and our houses. We do a facelift and a butt lift and a belly flap. Because we want to look really good. But how many times do we think about the most important appointment that we have? I'm not here talking about having your name on a church register. There are a lot of people in churches and the name is on the church roll. They come for Christmas. They come for Easter. And sometimes for Thanksgiving. The name is on the roll. Uh, recently with Zoom, they send the offerings online. They pay the tithes online. And uh, when pastor called them, I said, well, I didn't see you in church last week. What was happening with you? Oh, pastor, I had an appointment. So the appointments are there. But today, my question to those of us in this room, how are you Preparing for the appointment that comes death. It's an appointment that every one of us would have to answer. Willing or unwilling. Whether you're rich. Whether you're poor. Whether you're middle class. Whether you're big or small. You have to answer. When that appointed time comes. I wouldn't be very long. I'm going to bring it to a close soon enough. Once you get a message, I'm done. <laughs> I 
The appointment that you have is not a guarantee. You know, sometimes the doctor tell you, well, uh, uh, my wife here will tell, will tell you, I'll, gi I'll give you a little bit of a story with her. When she has an appointment, Teresa, she tells me, let's make a dry run. You know what is a dry run? To drive down the highway, drive down town to see where she's supposed to go the next day. So she will know how much time it takes to get there. So she knows what time to leave home for the appointment. He call a dry run. Sometimes I don't really want to go, but it's a dry run. Just go. With this up, the appointment that we have, there is no dry runs. You can go and see before you get there. You don't know the date. You don't know the time. But you know it's coming. But you can go check the destination first to see if you like it or not, you know. When the time comes, Jesus, help us in this room here today. Are you hearing me now? <laughs> put the mic, put the mic. So, we, we, we can do. We don't have no time for no dry run in this world. It's either you ready or you're not ready. Are you ready? Amen. 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 Thank God for me, Daddy. God built us in built in might, so we don't need this thing all the time. No. <laughs> So my question to everyone today, I know we came to pay our final respect to minister. Yeah. I believe you want more than anything else oh, yeah. that you are here today and don't want Jesus that you give your life to Christ. Amen. 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 That's what you live for. That the gospel be preached to yeah. every creature yeah. in this land. Yeah. Right. So my call today to you Ladies and gentlemen in this room, if you do not know Jesus yeah. as your Lord and Savior, you are not ready for your appointment. Yeah. The only how you can be ready is number one, you acknowledge that you are a sinner and you are Jesus. Yeah. Secondly, I believe in my heart that Jesus is the only way the only way I can be saved from my sin. Hallelujah. Not Buddha. That's right. Not Krishna. That's right. Not wishful thinking. No. Not yoga. No. Not meditation. No. The only way the word of God says is Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Amen. Amen. I don't care how much time you've been going to yeah. church. I don't care how much tithe you put in your front right. I don't care how much penance you do. Amen. Without Jesus Christ, Jesus. the Bible says Amen. you're going to a Christless eternity. Amen. Separation from God Amen. in hell. That's true. You say, Brother Rabbi, I don't believe in hell. Amen. I got some news for you. Amen. Whether you believe it or not, Amen. it's me. Amen. If you don't believe it, it doesn't change the facts. Oh, no. That's right. Hell is real. Amen. Heaven is real. Is real. Amen. My Jesus, my God, don't yes. send nobody to hell. No, that's right. If you go to hell, you choose to go to hell. Yes. Because he said to us in the word of God, there is a way yes. that seems right, right unto a man, but in hell is God. Are the ways of death. Amen. So if you go to hell, you choose to go to hell. Amen. If you don't receive Jesus Christ yeah. as your Savior, as your Lord, right. you're going to go to hell if you die in your sins. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Right. Knowledge, believe, confess. Amen. Jesus, I confess you as Lord of my life. Right. Jesus, I tried to fix it and I couldn't do it by myself. Right. Jesus, the wrong man, the woman couldn't cut it. Oh, yeah. Jesus, I need you. I need Come you. into my heart. Yes. Be Lord and Master 
of my life. Amen. Until those three things happen, you are not ready Amen. for your country. Today, you are in this room, you are all set and you hear my voice. You have an opportunity right here, right now, to prepare for your appointment. For as in the appointing of the man, once to die, and after death, there is a judgment. There is no repentance after the grave. You bow now, or you bow later, but someday you're going to bow to God. Amen. What would your answer be to the rabbi? Are you ready for your appointment, mommy? Daddy, uncle, cousin, niece, are you ready to meet the Lord? Are you ready for your appointment? Because it's coming. It's coming. We don't know who lacks Mr. Benny go put in front of We were in the cemetery and I was joking because we built a, a, a condominium. One, two, three. And you are joking like, Rabbi, who's next? I said, leave me out of that discussion. <laughs> Amongst you all says you can talk about it. <laughs> you this. Are I am ready to go. Yes. But I don't want to go yet. <laughs> There's a lot of work this guy has to do for yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, why do we keep on doing that still around? You know why? He's giving them time to repent. Yeah. Yeah. You can hear something there. <laughs> He's giving them time to repent. I'm not speaking hard because I, I love you guys, yes. but I love you so much yes. that I don't want you to go to hell. That's right. I love you so much that I want us to be in heaven together with this girl here. Because when they, I want us to be together. Yes. I was laughing, Rochelle. Could you imagine mommy in heaven rolling by? Oh, she's a son, this guy's got to say, Oh, Master, she really doesn't rest. <laughs> so I'm thinking in heaven, she's, she's running everywhere, greeting everybody she could remember. Oh, yeah. And that gave me joy in my heart. Amen, amen. I'm so happy. I'm not, I miss her a little bit. Yeah. But the Bible says, man, she's in a bed. Oh, yes. oh, yeah. I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> she sees she wants her already. Oh, yeah. And I'm still paying taxes. And I'm <laughs> driving on the highway. And... Come on. <laughs> the Bible says, I have not seen. Yes. Now we need to stop in my We have to have the so what I'm stressing myself about this one. June, you can't worry about them things, you know, June? No, no. We just got to live the life one day yeah. at a time. Yeah. some Christians who are giving up like chicken falling on the road. What happened to you, man? Yeah. It's really nice. Oh, yeah. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Today's face, we are here. Yeah. And I want to give those of you who are who are not sick. An opportunity to give Jesus Christ a chance. Amen. Can we bow our heads in the presence? Praise God. Yeah. Yeah. If you're here and you don't know Jesus, right where you are, you can just put your hands up for you. I'm going to pray for you. The same Jesus that Melissa lives for is able to save you if you will trust him. Amen. I don't need to preach to Uncle McIntyre and tell him about this child. He knows that already. I got to preach to those of you who are not saved yes, that you need to repent and turn to Jesus. Yes, Whether it be politician, lawyer, judge, doctor, thief, prisoner, it doesn't matter. Yes, right. Jesus came to see and yes, to see. Amen. Amen. Do it. Amen. If you hear anything, put your hands up with me. I want to pray for you. Auntie, uncle, cousin, anybody? Just shoot the hand up in your face. There's one person there. Is there another person? Hallelujah. Is there another person? Hallelujah. There's no one who here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Rejoice when one person comes to the Just stop. 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 Just stop.
Bishop Dave King uh, to come and pray for the family. We invite all the family members. Please stand as Bishop King comes to pray. Praise God. Afternoon to everybody. Join with me as we. Ask God to come true for the family. We are gathered here today having so many persons coming from near and far. By tomorrow they won't be having that privilege. And we have to deal with um, a mother who has left, a wife who has, has left. Let us pray as well as the siblings of Father in Heaven. We pause to thank you today. Yes. We say thanks and sometimes we don't even know what we say thanks for. Today, loving Father in heaven, you know what you are doing. And we believe, Father in heaven, when it comes to the child of God, there is no accident. We believe, Father in heaven, that you have a plan and so, Lord God, we don't always understand your plan. But our Father today, we just want to trust you. We ask, oh God, for your comfort and your nearness. I pray, Father, for the immediate family. Please continue to strengthen the husband. Our Father in heaven, he gets so accustomed coming home to a wife and a wife coming home and having interaction. Our Father in heaven, oh God, all he has at this time, Lord. What she would have done, probably pictures to remember. Our Father in heaven, we think about our children today while they understand, but Father in heaven. As was already said by one daughter, loving Father, they have lost their best friend, one who is always there with them. Today, Father, we saw their bravery in one standing here, Father in heaven, and giving and talking about her mother. Oh God, we ask today, because you give us emotions, and so you give us 
emotions as gifts so that we can sympathize, we can empathize. And we ask, oh God, that you would uh, you comfort them. We thank you today, oh God. We know that you are always ready. We can call upon you at any time. And that's why we are calling upon you today. We pray, Father, for the rest of the siblings that you would stand with them, Lord God. You, are, you know their hearts. You know what's going through their minds even at this time. Other family members. And as they stand here today, Father, we stand with them. We are praying for them. And we are asking, oh God, that you would touch their lives. You would comfort them. You let them know that you are with them, loving Father in heaven. Oh God, in times when it seems as though they don't even know where to turn, God Almighty, we thank you for those arms that we can lean on. And so today, Father, we are just praying, asking your blessings. We ask that you would touch our Father today, God. We ask that you would touch every family member. Let God arise and let all of his enemies be scattered. We want to thank you, Father, for our brother of soul. Lord God Almighty, share with us from his heart the word of the Lord. But Lord, you know the void and the pains. At this time, Father, we call upon you and we are looking to you. We have the opportunity and the privilege, oh God Almighty, to look at the cops while the coffin was open. But in a few minutes, loving Father, we'll be going to the cemetery where we'll be committing the remains. No more opening of this casket, Father. We just call upon you and we know that you are a very present help in the time of difficulties. We look to you today. And we ask for your comfort. We ask for your blessings. Thank you for being close to the family. We call upon you today. And Lord, we bless the entire family. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, Bishop King. And now we have a congregational hymn. I've anchored in Jesus in the storms of life, I pray. I invite you to stand as we sing.
Whatever strength you see is what knowing. And there is a difference between believing and knowing. A lot of us believe, but we don't know. We don't know a God who is able to keep. I'm supposed to say thanks. So thank you, Lord. Thank you, Reverend Hans, for allowing us to be here this evening. Again, it is very close to my heart that uh, you would have shared those moments with us. Yeah. Thank you to every member of the body of Christ. But if I touch on, on this note, I, I, I want to deviate from the thank you. Because you hear as family, thank you. You hear as friends, thank you. Co workers, fellow ministry partners, teachers, students of Greenland Taipo and Pini Market, thank you. To all those who have been with us on this journey, the 50 year journey, the 30 year journey, and then most recently these last two years. Those of you who were with us on that journey, um, I tell you, the best way you can say thanks to Melissa this evening, as um, Brother Rami so eloquently put it is to give your life to, to Jesus. The Christ who made the difference in, in her life, the Christ who is making a difference in my life, and by the way, many of you have seen me and, you know, I have given me a lot of credits and I, I, I look good and sound good and all the while it was not me. Eh? So right about now, what just happened, you are going to see a version of me that you've never seen before. Because I no longer have her to <laughs> make me look so polished and so, so wonderful as I did over the years. So, uh, the devil has not learned. You see, he has few weapons. And death is one of those that he thinks is his best. Weapon. Sicknesses, poverty, lack, hunger, those are his weapons. And he thinks that death is his best weapon. But he has not learned, even when he took out the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, that he was helping to fulfill the mission. Every day, look, he should just learn. Because God cannot be tempted with evil, neither does he tempt man with evil. So every time God calls him to go and owe oh, somebody light, he should say, no, I don't want to. <laughs> he should really cry out, you don't want to. <laughs> because every time he takes out a child of God, it spells growth. It spells fertilizer. It spells, it spells nutrients. For the body. Love said. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. I just want to say thank you to everyone. And just in case I left out somebody, feel thanks to me that you have taken off your time to be here to share these moments. But if she has touched your life in any way, reflect it by surrendering your life and living for Jesus. Thank you. Thank you.
close to it. Not even. And now we will have the benediction, and that will be followed by the recession of him now. Please, when we reach the second stand, we ask the usher to please escort the Minister Daniel Thomas, Mr. Andrews, and the former Prime Minister. Then the ministers of gospel will follow, and the family will then follow. Please remain in your seat and allow that order. Please. And so I invite the Reverend Day to invite you to do the benediction. Let's all rise. This world has no justice. Sinful men make laws. It will come to an end. That's a guarantee. But the ancient prophet says, let justice rain down. And it did. There is no justice in death except for Jesus, who served justice on the cross of Calvary that every one of us who received this forgiveness and justifies us so that we can go through death without any fear. Let's bow our heads. Almighty God and Heavenly Father, we thank you for your written word. If you had spoken to us, we might have forgotten, but you've given us your written word that we can reflect and reminisce and learn of you. You've given us blessed Holy Spirit, the comforter and counselor of truth. And so now we say, may God bless you and keep you faith. And may God cause his face to shine upon you and bring you peace. Peace to God, your hearts, and to keep your minds as born again believers and children of God till Jesus comes. And everybody, amen. amen. Thank you so much.
Yo, tell me when you're here. That's where the thing had to go.
With faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, we receive the body of our dear sister Melissa for burial. Let us pray with confidence to God, the giver of life, for her family, that they may cast their cares on him, and they may know the consolation of his love, that God will remember them in mercy, nourish them in patience, comfort them with a sense of his goodness. And that he will lift up his countenance upon them and grant them peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We are gathered here to commit to rest the body of our dear sister Melissa. Death brings finality to life. It ends friendship. 
but it also brings us closer to our destiny. We can only determine our destiny while we are alive. As we commit our body here this afternoon, let us know assuredly that all who die in Christ enter into eternal rest that awaits them. Because of this certainty, her family knows that their hope is in the Lord Jesus and that they can rest their heart in the fresh confidence on the sure and certain hope of Melissa's resurrection to life Amen. through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us remember her life and the enjoyment of it. And so we ask Reverend Niles to pray. Grateful are we, Father, for the life you've given her, 60 years. We thank you for all that she was able to do. She impacted many. It's every day. And we really rejoice and celebrate her life. And now we just ask that your blessing will come to rest in the by this us all, that we would emulate the example she has left. Bless us now as we do this finality in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. A friend of Jesus, oh, what bless that one so meek as I should ever have a friend like this to lead me to the sky. I'm singing friendship with Jesus Christ, my Lord, oh, fellowship, fellowship divine. Oh, what blessed sweet from you. Yes, Jesus is a friend of mine, a friend when other friendship, a friend when others fail, a friend who give me joy and peace, a friend who fall a sail. Friendship with Jesus, friendship with Jesus Christ, my Lord, oh, fellowship, fellowship divine, I know what blessed sweet communion, Jesus is a friend of mine, a friend when sickness lay me low, a friend when dead John is, a friend that's true, the veil I go. A friend to help and check. And it is friendship. Jesus Christ, my Lord, hallelujah. Fellowship, fellowship divine. I know what blessed sweet come you. Well, Jesus is a friend of mine. A friend when life short races, oh. A friend when art is past. A friend to meet on heaven show. A friend when home at last. Friendship with Jesus. Friendship with Jesus Christ, my Lord. Sweet communion, Jesus is a friend of mine. Friendship with Jesus, friendship, Jesus Christ, my Lord, hallelujah. Fellowship, fellowship divine, oh, what blessed sweet communion. Well, Jesus is a friend of mine. So when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall
of a sudden, oh, let us talk of all his wonders, love and care. Then when all of life is over, and our work on earth is done, and the road is called up yonder. So the Lord pitied them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame. He remembers. he remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are as grass. As a flower of the field, so he flourisheth. For the wind passeth over it, and it is gone. And the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercies of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting. Upon them that fear him. Amen. And his righteousness unto Amen. children's children. Amen. To as such as keep his covenant. And those that remember his commandment to do them. The Lord had prepared his throne in the heavens. And his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless ye the Lord. All the angels that excel in strength. That do his commandment. Hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord. All the hosts. Ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord all his works and all his dominion. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. And John says, And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me from henceforth, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Even so, says the Spirit, for they rest from their labors and their works do follow them. If we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also that are fallen asleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For them that sleep in Jesus shall God bring with him. And as over such, the second death had no power. Let us now commit a body for in as much as it has pleased the Lord, yeah. in his wise providence, yeah. to call our dear sister Melissa McIntyre out of this life. And in his mercy has taken her to himself. We therefore commit her body to this tomb, in the sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life. Looking for the blessed hope and glorious appearing of our great God and our Savior, entrusting her into the everlasting mercies of our God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. When peace like a river attended my way, Sorrows like sea bills roll. Whatever my love, thou hast taught me to say, it is well. It is well.
Satan, though Satan should buffet, though trials should come, let this blessed assurance control that Christ had regarded my helpless estate and has shed his own blood for my soul. It is well. It is well with my soul. It is well. It is well with my soul. My sin, all oh, the bliss. Of this glorious thought. My sin not in part but in whole. My sin not in part but in whole. Is nailed to the cross. And I bear it no more. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, my soul. It is well. It is well. With my soul. It is well with my soul. Oh Lord, here's the day. When my faith shall be sight. The cloud be rolled back. As a scroll. The trump shall resound, the and the Lord shall descend, and the Lord shall be even so, it is well, with my soul, hallelujah, it is well, it is well. With my soul, it is well, it is well with my soul. Though Satan should buffet, though Satan should buffet, though trials should come. Let this bless assurance Let this bless control. Assurance control that Christ had regarded Christ had my helpless estate.
rest of my life. I made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. I stay no longer with you. Goodbye, pleasure, I say. I stay no longer with you. I made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life. I made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life. I stay no longer with you. I made up my mind to go God's way. The rest of my life, I made up my mind to go God's way. Goodbye, world. Goodbye, world. I stay no longer with you. Goodbye, pleasures of sin. I stay no longer with you. Oh, I made up my mind to go God's way. The rest of my life. To go God's way the rest of my life. Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, I'll never forget how you set me free. My Jesus, Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought, brought me up. No, 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 no. How can I forget? How can I forget? What you have done for me. Yes, how can I forget how you set, set me free? Oh, yes, how can I forget how you brought, you brought me out? No, 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 no. How can I forget? Oh, how can I forget what you done for me? Hallelujah, how can I forget how you set, set me free? Oh, how can I forget how you brought, you brought me out? No, 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 no. Oh, someday, oh, someday, well, I'll go where Jesus is. Someday, someday, well, I'll go where Jesus is. Someday, yes, yeah, someday, well, I know where Jesus is. Oh, I'll be caught up, hallelujah, caught up, oh, I'll be caught up to meet him in the air. Well, I'll be caught up, caught up, hallelujah, caught up. Yes, I'll be caught up, caught up, yes, caught up, hallelujah, God and the peace of man, yes, someday in glory, I tell that story, caught up to meet him, I'll be caught up, I'll be caught up to meet him, caught up to meet him. Story caught up to meet him in the air. Someday, oh, someday, hey, I'll go where Jesus is. Someday, someday, well, I'll go where Jesus is. Hallelujah, someday, hey, someday. I'll go where Jesus is. Oh, I'll be caught up. Hallelujah, caught up. Yes, I'll be caught up to meet him in the air. I'll be caught up, caught up to meet him. Caught up to meet him. Well, joy and happiness, peace is mine. Someday in glory. I'll tell that story, caught up to meet him in the air. Well, no grave can hold my body down. Hallelujah, no grave can hold my body down. Oh, that trumpet shall yes, and the wedding cry shall Hallelujah, no grave Oh! 
trumpet shall sound, the dead in Christ shall rise. No grave, oh my God, is gone. Let me coming from the south. Let me coming from the east. Let me coming from the west. We are going up. Hallelujah. We are going up. Yeah, we are going up when Jesus comes. No grave. Can hold my body down. Hold our body down. Oh, no grave can hold my body down. Hold my body down. When the trumpet shouts and the dead in Christ shall No grave. No grave. We shall have a grand time up in heaven. We shall have a grand time up in heaven. Have a grand time. Walking with the angels. Sing glory, hallelujah. hallelujah. We shall have a grand time up in heaven. Have a grand time. We shall have a grand time. We shall have a grand time. Hallelujah. Up in heaven. Grand time up in heaven. We shall have a grand time up in heaven. Have a grand time. Have a grand time. Walking with the angels. Walking with the angels. Walking with the angels. Walking with the angels singing glory. Hallelujah. We shall have a grand time up in heaven. Have a grand time. You break it up. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing his mercies and his grace. You can't be cracking. In the mansion, bright and blessed, he'll prepare for us a place. When we all, when we all, when we all get to heaven for a day of rejoicing. Rejoicing that will be when we all see Jesus. We will sing and shout. While we walk, while we walk, the pilgrim pathway, clouds will overspread. But when traveling days, not a shadow, not a sign. When we all, when we all, when we all get to heaven, day of rejoicing, rejoicing that will be when we all see Jesus, we will sing and shout. Let us then be true. Let us then be true and faithful. Trust in serving every day. Just one glimpse of him in glory, with the doors of light, when we all, when we all, when we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing, rejoicing that will be, when we all see Jesus, we will sing and shout, Onward to the price before us. To the price before Soon his beauty. His beauty will be Soon the pearly Soon gates. The will open. Break, 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 break. We will tread the streets of gold. Oh, when we are. Oh, what a day of rejoicing. That will be when we all see Jesus. We will sing and let us then be true and faithful. Trust in serving every day. Just one glimpse of him in glory. Will the tears of blood prepare? When we all. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing. Rejoicing that will be when we all see Jesus. We will sing. When we all get to heaven, when we all. Oh, what a 
day of rejoicing, rejoicing that will be when we all see Jesus. We will sing and shout the victory. Just a closer walk with thee. This is my plea. Daily walking close to thee. Let it be, the Lord. Let it be. I am weak. Uh, but thou art strong. Jesus, keep me from all wrong. I'll be satisfied as long. As I walk, let me walk close to thee. Just a closer walk. Just a closer walk with thee. Granted, Jesus is my plea. Daily walking close. Let it be there, Lord. Let it be. Through this world of of toil and stare, if I fall to Lord, who cares? Who with me? My burden share, none but thee, there Lord, none but thee. Just a closer walk, closer walk with thee, grant me Jesus is my plea. Daily walking, daily walking close to thee. Let it be the Lord. Just a closer walk with thee. Just a closer walk with thee. Grant me, Jesus, is my plea. Daily walking, daily walking close to thee. Let it be the Lord. Let it be, and what a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and grief to bear, oh what a privilege to carry, everything to God in prayer, oh what peace we often forfeit, Oh, what needless pains we bear. All because we do not carry. Everything to God in prayer. Have we trials and temptation? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful? Who will all our sorrow share? Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Are we weak and heavy laden? Tremble with the Lord of care. Precious Savior till our refuge. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Do thy friends despise for safety. Take it to the Lord in prayer. In his arms he take and shield thee. Now we'll find a solace there. There's a land that is fairer than day, and by faith we can see it afar. For the Father waits over the way. Oh, to be pure of a dwelling place there in the sweet, in the sweet, by and by we 
shall meet on that meet on that beautiful shore in the sweet by and by we shall meet on the beautiful show, we shall sing on the beautiful show. The melodious song of the blessed. And our spirit shall soar at the home. Now a sign for the blessing of rest. In the sweet, in the sweet, by and by we shall meet. Meet on that beautiful shore in the sweet by and by. We shall meet on that beauty to abundant for Father above. We will offer a tribute of praise for the glorious gift of His love and the blessings that hallow our day. In the sweet, in the sweet, by and by we shall meet, meet on the beautiful shore, in the sweet, by and by we shall meet on that beauty. In the sweet, in the sweet, by and by we shall meet on that beauty. Beautiful shore in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore. Oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the world thy hands has made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe display. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to me, how great thou art, how great thou art. Oh, hallelujah, then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art, how great thou art. Went through the woods, and for his gaze I wonder, and hear the birds. Sing sweetly in the tree. When I look down from lofty mountain grandeur and see the brook and feel the gentle breeze, then sings my soul, then sings my soul, my Savior God to me. How great thou art! How great thou art! How great thou art! How great thou art, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think that God his Son sent him to die, I scarce can take it in. That on the cross, my burden gladly bearing, he bled and died to take away my sin. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, how great thou art, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul. My Savior God, to thee, how great thou art! How great thou art! When Christ shall come, with shout of affirmation, and take me home, 
what joy shall fill my soul. Then I shall bow in humble adoration and then proclaim, my God, how great. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to be. How great thou art. How great thou art. Then sings my soul. Then sings my soul. My Savior God to be. How great thou art. How great thou art. How great thou art. Then sings my soul. Then sings my soul. My Savior God to be. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. How great thou art. How great thou art. Honor him.
And the grace of our Lord and Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forever. Amen.